viewership, welcome back to this let's play of D&D, Warriors of the Eternal Sun. One thing I didn't mention in the recording last video was that I purposely chose <clears throat> a celebrity D&D theme because I haven't done it before, and I thought it would be interesting. I'm not trying to perfectly, accurately capture the personalities of everyone, but sometimes doing the Duke voice or the Duke voice is interesting. As a reminder, last uh, uh, as a reminder, this group has uh, has has finished exploring the starting town and gotten fully stocked with uh, got, gotten fully stocked with all the weapons and armor and spells that they intend to get. They've also done a little bit of exploring outside of town. They fought some things on the overworld and in the first person view. So. Our next stop is to check out the hidden forest cave that I heard about. We are level one. We've just encountered a frickin' grizzly bear and hill giant. Let's try putting this giant to sleep. Not sure if it worked, but Siri is about to heal Fidel Castro. Oh, hey, it worked! Hallelujah! And now we might have it. I'm about to use a wand of lightning. And we might have an occasion where Meryl Streep kills everyone. If so, we will reload. No, she actually hits, and with the wrong device. Oops! Oh no! Okay, we are about to reload because character death in this game is bad. The first time that this that our group crossed the bridge, although it was not recorded, there was no random encounter. And apparently there was no random encounter that time either. And when I say a random encounter, I truly mean random. RNG encounter, that sort of thing. We are looking for the entrance to a cave that looks very similar to the rest of this forest. Where is it? Siri, where is it? Lodi, please wait. Based on my understanding of its location, it will be somewhere around here. And by somewhere around here, I mean right over there. Time to save. Also, time. Time to do something else. And time to load, because I pushed the wrong button. Loading, please wait. I'm still adjusting to this gens. Okay. 
Hey, we beat it! Hallelujah! Inventory! We actually gained a notable amount of experience. Like, over 100 ex experience points per person, which is pretty good. Although I might just I might just be misinterpreting this. We still gained a lot of stuff. A lot of experience. And we are saving. Ah! Note to self. Meryl, Meryl Street just killed everyone. Okay, hallelujah. Then we are saving, resting. And then sleeping until everyone's at max HP. Because! Here's a trick I learned from the internet. We save the game according to this, then we reload the game according to this, and then all of our charged items have a, have a bunch of charges. I don't know if they're fully recharged, but they gained a random number of charges. That'll do. Checking to see if everyone got experience for that. I'm not sure if everyone got experience for that. But since Siri requires less experience to level this time, apparently we got experience for that. We're about to reload the game. Reset the game, reload the game. one of lightning bolts disappeared. Probably because we used it up. Huh. Well, in that case, maybe the guy that I found online was wrong. Or maybe this is just a different version of the game where this no longer applies. Etc. Etc. One thing that I have been wondering about this game, why are all the... Uh, why are all or pretty much all of the ways to go downstairs in first person modes not clearly labeled? I really don't know. It's like... Sorry. It's like... I go... I, th there's no stairs icon like in a Final Fantasy game. And there's nothing else to let me know... Obviously, that it's there. So 
So this is just uh We're spamming the attack button until it dies. Hallelujah. Preferably we don't die. This is one reason why I just prefer I prefer if this game had fully turn-based combat instead of a combination of turn-based and real-time. All right, groovy. Not what I wanted. Okay. Siri last time required 680 experience to advance to her next level. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why the group doesn't seem to be gaining experience. Maybe experience is dealt to whoever does the killing blow. That's, that's right. If so, that feels very foolish to me. Because Duke just got a lot of experience, but Siri didn't. Yeah, I'm used to other games where... It doesn't matter who gets the killing blow. It doesn't matter sometimes even if you technically kill the enemy. If you win the fight, everyone gets an equal share or approximately equal share of experience. Sometimes adjusted for level. For example, someone with a higher level would get less experience than some of the lower level. At least the music is good in this game. Alright, we have a Minotaur Light. Hallelujah! And that sound is probably... Siri gaining a level.
Mm-hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> 